Bulbasaur was given the iron pickaxe to hold. Wait a minute. Look at that, dude! Like, you actually manually throw the Pokeball! Holy shenanigans, dude! That's amazing! I hope these things don't attack! Yo, Mischievous! Dude, every time I see a new Pokemon, I am so pumped about it. That's actually amazing! What an amazing shiny! Today is an incredibly hyped day as we are launching a brand new server for Cobblemon. For those who don't know, Cobblemon is a brand new Minecraft mod that brings Pokemon into Minecraft in a super cool way, making them fit the aesthetic of Minecraft while adding a ton of features that bring it closer to the Pokemon games we know and love. It's got a super smooth battle UI that ties directly to Pokemon Showdown and tons of adventures and fun for us to have. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can install Cobblemon for free today to play on the Pocket Pixel server with me, build a town with me as this guy comes to hang out and just have a ton of fun. So don't miss this new experience with Cobblemon. So I gotta say, so many of you guys hit me up about Cobblemon and you're like, Dan, you gotta play Cobblemon, you gotta try it. And one of the biggest things I saw was the dev team is very active in updating things. They, they're putting a ton of stuff into the game and it looks super clean and it's obviously a little different than Pixelmon, but it seems super cool and I feel like we had to give it a try. So if you wanna join me on Cobblemon, let's talk about it. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on how you can play Cobblemon for free. And I'll put all the links and information in the description below if you're someone who prefers to read it. Basically, you can go to pocketpixels.net slash cobble and we're gonna have a full guide there. I highly recommend utilizing the Technic Launcher for your install because the Technic Launcher is going to allow us to update your mod pack and provide custom forms and skins and all sorts of cool stuff. You can head over to the technicpack.net download section and download the Technic Launcher. Just simply follow the prompts on screen and just be mindful for any weird ads and stuff. Once you have the Technic Launcher downloaded, open it up and go to the bottom left and log in with your Minecraft Java credentials. Then in the search bar, type Pocket Pixels Cobblemon. You'll see the different mod packs for the Pocket Pixels network, which is where we're gonna be playing. And from there, all you have to do is simply install the mod pack. This is where you're gonna wanna make sure you go into your settings and make sure you're allocating enough RAM to play Minecraft with the Technic Launcher so you can have a more optimal experience. Once the Pocket Pixels mod pack is installed, it's as simple as booting up the game. And every time you open Technic, it'll automatically automatically want to install any necessary updates so your server will always be up to date this way. And that's really it. You just join the Pocket Pixels server there and you can get to the hub where I am now. Once you get to the Pocket Pixels hub, all you got to do is type slash server space cobble and it's actually going to kick you out. And then you just rejoin. It'll say connection loss, please reconnect. You just join back into the Pocket Pixels network and it'll put you right into the Cobblemon server. Boom. Look at that. Here I am on the Pocket Pixels Cobblemon server. It's pretty sweet. And you can press M to choose your starter, baby! You can choose starters from every single region to get things kicked off. So Turtwig, or you can grab yourself a Tepig, or Chespin, or whatever you want. I mean, you can really go the whole whole rundown all the way up to the Gala region. Let me know in the comment section below who you're gonna pick for this. I'm really torn right now. I'm gonna go with my boy Bulbasaur, I gotta do it. And you can press R to send them out. And look at little Bulbasaur, hey buddy! Bulbasaur was given the iron pickaxe to hold. Wait a minute. And by pressing M, I can open up my Bulbasaur. I have to get a little help here. Vine Whip, Leech Seed, Growl, and Tackle. So here in the spawn, you can kind of see all the cool stuff that you can do. And obviously, Cobblemon's pretty new. So we're going to be adding a bunch of new stuff to the server, including gyms and all that good stuff. But now's an opportunity to get involved right at the ground floor, right at the beginning. Look at the little Rattata up there. Super cool. I'll show you guys a little bit about what the battles look like here in a second. So you can use slash menu and you can see a ton of different stuff that'll give you all the details like the different areas you can go to, you can RTP, it'll show you the different shop, auction house, chest shop, all the different kits you can do, general info, everything you need to do. To get things started, I'm gonna just do an RTP and see where it takes me and we're gonna explore the world and see what kind of uh, Cobblemon we can find. Okay, so we teleported all the way out here. We're in a very interesting terrain. That might be a nice bike biome. There is a cricket tot. One of the things I'm really excited about with Cobblemon is that I love how the Pokemon look. Look at this thing. He's like knocked over. That's kind of sick actually. I kind of like Pineco. That might not be the worst thing to get. But all of the Cobblemon have like death animations. There's obviously shinies and there's gonna be like custom textures and all sorts of cool stuff that you can do. And they streamlined a lot of the process for people to make the game even more fun. So I feel like a lot of people are gonna dig it and I really like the aesthetic, man. I just feel like because they look like they fit so well, it certainly brings it together for me. And I feel like the immersion in Minecraft, which 
is a game that I've come to really appreciate is something that makes it even better. Oh, tell me that's an ice cube. What level are you? Level 14. That's kind of a sick Pokemon to catch, dude. Okay, level 14. Let's see if I can get it. You guys can see the UI here, and I can kind of freely move around. I'm going to lead seed it, and you can see I can move around and like watch the fight okay so i lead seated he went for mist i can go for vine whip he's gonna do something to me he hit me pretty hard there um okay but i did get some health back i'm gonna vine whip again i brought him down to about half and he fit and failed and missed i think now i'm gonna actually try to catch him so so now i actually throw the pokeball at it Look at that, dude! Like, you actually manually throw the Pokeball! Holy shenanigans, dude! That's amazing! And I caught it! I caught an Ice Cube! That's a sick Pokemon! Let's take a look. So it's Careful Nature. I didn't even look. We're Mild Nature before. Careful Nature, Ice Sight with Weather Ball, Powder Snow. I'm kind of glad that I didn't get Powdered Snowed to the face. Oh, that's how you do the moves. Okay. So we can move the... I was trying to figure out how to do the movement before. But you can move the move up. That's kind of sick. Dude, this is really cool. And then you can see its stats. You can see EVs, IVs, etc. Base stats. Oh, dude, it's so beautiful. Like, really cool. Bulbasaur, come back, buddy. Dude, this is so hype. Oh, look at the little Buneary. It's so cute. And you may notice that regular Minecraft mobs are in here as well. And there's a Cryogonal, dude. That's a sick one. All right, let's RTP again and see where we end up. All right, it's raining again. I landed in some planes, it seems. Is that a Wooloo? It is a Wooloo. Is that Igglybuff? Oh, look at that little guy. He might be kind of worth battling Igglybuff. All right, I was able to beat the Igglybuff with no problems at all, and we're going to get to level 11. Oh, there's a double. Look at that. Tauros. This is sick. Y'all know I love the forest. Let's see if we can find ourselves a sick Bug-type Pokemon. Another thing to note is that, that this uh, Cobblemon uses, like, the most recent... There's a Vulpix, dude. Use the most recent version of Minecraft, or pretty close if I'm not mistaken, which is really nice because Pixelmon uses a much older version of Minecraft. Oh, this is a really cool birch forest. Let's actually use our pickaxe, and we're going to start to get some wood because I'll definitely need that to start building. Okay, so I just found a bunch of pigs, and it dawned on me that I actually have to eat. So let me grab a sword here, and we're going to hack and slash these pigs up so I can get some meat. We're going to have to make a stove or an oven. And get some coal. We have like so like I actually have to figure out how to play Minecraft to survive here. That's a diglet. Give me a pork chops, buddy. Ooh, is that a Judo just tumbling about? Alright, so raw food really not giving me what I want here in terms of nutrition, but uh <laughs> we're doing it. Ooh, a cricket tot again. That looks like a sick place to call my home. I hope these things don't attack. Ooh, there's a Joltic. So actually I wanted to find a Joltic. For a very specific reason. I had heard there's something cool you can do with them. I'm gonna try to see if I can catch this thing. Okay, I'm gonna leech seed it. He's gonna fury cutter me and almost knock me out. That's gonna make my life a little tough. Um, I'm gonna switch into ice cube because I have the ice face. So I know I can at least take one. He electro webs, which doesn't break my ice face, I guess. And then I can powder snow. Electrowebs again, I powder snow, I'll get some leech seed recovery, and then I think I can try to catch him. Let's see if I can do this. Throw the gray ball at him, see if it's gonna work. Come on, I love that you get to try- and look at the little icon in the top corner! That's so sick, and I caught him! Okay, so, this is exactly what I was hoping to do. So it's Calm Nature as well, Bug Bite, Electroweb, Fury Cutter, and Screech, and you can obviously see the rest of its information. But my understanding is if you send out little Joltik here and you crouch, you can have him go on your shoulder. And now I have what's called a haste. So I should move faster. I don't know if that's what haste does, but different Pixamon do different things when they are on your shoulder. So Joltik, I think makes you move faster. Zubat makes it so you don't fall as fast. Um, and I think that there's other ones. Like, I know Pikachu makes you move faster, I think. So, definitely something worth exploring. It's really neat, actually. Ooh, what's down there? Is that, like, a nether portal? Oh, wow, there's actual stuff in here. A golden shovel, some gold nuggets, another golden shovel, some obsidian. I guess I'll take that. And I guess I'll take all these iron nuggets, because why not? No idea what a fire charge does, but that all seems good. There's a thing of gold there, too. But I'm not sure I can do anything about that. There's actually a ghastly over here. That's kind of neat. What are all these things? 
Oh, these are all Rata- Oh, there was a Rattata. I thought these were all Rattatas too. Oh, whoa, that's so sick. A level 44 Golurk. Dude, that's super cool. Oh, and there's a Fortress too. <gasps> Yo, Mischievous. Dude, every time I see a new Pokemon, I am so pumped about it. I know about y'all, but this is dangerous for me, man, because I will legitimately spend my entire life just roaming around trying to find cool stuff. That is basically my MO. I love doing that in Minecraft. Look at the sunrise, bro. It's coming. And all those little squid things down there. This is so sick. Bro, check this out. Oh, God. I don't even want to know where I ended up. This is... Dude, what is going on down here? Into the water. Dude, this is wicked cool. So I don't have any light sources, so I really can't do a whole lot down here, but... This is pretty cool. I found a couple of flowering azaleas. I don't know how rare those are. Okay, I want nothing more than to just explore everything, but I've got some things I want to show you as well. So I headed back to spawn because I have some alpha supporter crate keys to grab, and you guys can grab these at the shop at shop.pocketpixels.net and just pick the server. But there's all sorts of cool stuff that we can get to kind of kick things off. So let's see what we get out of this. All right, our first crate is a thousand, 10,000 claim, claim box, which is really hype. And 64 diamonds. Oh, okay, that's a lot of diamonds. 64 rare candies is big, actually. I'd love to see that. Five sets of vitamins. Super clutch for EV training. A rare pickaxe. That'll help us mine some obsidian and stuff. And XP candy larges will help us just buff up our team. More claim blocks. I love it. And more rare candies. Also awesome. Two more keys left. A random shiny legendary. What is it? What is it? Okay, so I redeem it with this. A random shoddy legendary. Okay, let's try one more key. 64 emeralds, that's hype. Okay, I get one random shoddy legendary. What is it gonna be? Let's find out right now on Cobblemon. Shoddy Poi Pole? No shot! That's sick, dude. That's actually amazing. What an amazing shiny. No shot, dude. Beast boost, quiet, poison type. Fell sticker, toxic, poison jab, nasty plot. We're gonna get a Naganadel in Cobblemon right out the gates, dude. You can't make it any better than that. Our episode one team to start our journey looking pretty spicy, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving it, and I would love it if you came and joined me on Cobblemon. Make sure you guys check out the resources in the description below and hop on and play for free today on the Pocket Pixels Cobblemon server. On the next episode, I'm gonna pick a place to build my house. I'm gonna jump in. We're gonna be playing this a bunch. It's gonna be so much fun. Really looking forward to it. I'll see you guys soon.